next guest is an inspiration to countless people around the world. She's a runner who has completed 10 marathons and 14 ultra marathons. The longest was 61 miles and took over 25 hours. Wow. Oh, man. What? <laughs> <laughs> She's a sponsored athlete, best selling author, and last year, National Geographic named her an adventure of the year. She's what I consider a whole lot of woman, y'all. Yeah. You match my set. I love it. It's so awesome. It's so colorful. I planned it. I love it. Okay, so you're an inspiration to so many, but people always don't expect that you're the typical runner. No, well, look at me. Oh, uh, I look great. am not what people think of as a runner. I'm not thin. I'm not chiseled, except for my legs. Um, so I'm definitely uh, not what someone would think of when they think of runners. Stereotypical. Yeah. All right. I like that. But how did this start? How did you become a runner? You know, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn. Uh, so, <laughs> and uh, I, I played sports in high school, uh, trained to be a classical singer, actually. Uh, yes, I don't really do it anymore, but okay. I did. And, uh, but I really, really love sports, and I loved them so much that I started running in high school to get better at my sports. Uh, fast forward a lot of years, I had a baby. Uh, that runs everything body-wise. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm still recovering after 16 years. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and I had a health scare in 2008. I was uh, not living the, the healthiest lifestyle. I didn't sleep. I was sick all the time. My son was sick all the time. Um, thought I was having a heart attack Whoa. at one point. Um, visited with a cardiologist who said, listen, you got to change your life and your lifestyle uh, unless you don't want to live to see your son grow up. Wow. Um, and I was like, he didn't have to say it like that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I got some good bedside <laughs> manner. <laughs> but I got it. Like, I internalized that message and uh, got back on my treadmill after not having done any exercise for a long time. That was it. One mile turned into 5K, which is three miles, 3.1 miles, which turned into 10Ks, half marathons. A friend says, hey, why don't you come and do this marathon with me? And I was like, that's silly. I'm not doing that. How do I sign up? Um, <laughs> And so that turned into this like amazing trajectory of discovery of my body, of my mind, of my grit. And did my first marathon in 2011, did many other marathons since then. And uh, that also turned into doing ultra marathons. Um, Do y'all ever run marathons? Have y'all ever done that? I once dropped out of a 5K. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to take a nap. You <laughs> God bless. It is running that can is be very in my twenties. I was so into it. I get it. It's like escapism for me. Like I love <laughs> escaping and having the playlist. But you might remember Kyle, my bass player, okay? We introduced him earlier, but he's also an ultra runner. He's crazy. <laughs> I mean, he runs all the time. We will be in any country, anywhere, and he is running somewhere. It's crazy. But he's actually met Myrna before and posted this um, about her on social media. I've been following Myrna since I first heard about her way back in 2001. She isn't just a woman or just an ultra runner. She isn't just black, just a mother, or just a plus size athlete. She is living embodiment of the kind of world I want to be a part of. One where the things that make us unique aren't flaws, they're superpowers. Wow. <laughs> now and I was crying in my dress <laughs> reading oh. this. I mean, but tell her though, like why is Myrna's voice so important for this sport? Why were you that passionate about it? Uh, so for me, it's just that she uh, is doing what she loves, right? So that's the first thing. And then by virtue of doing what she loves, she's inspiring all these people uh, just by being her truest self. So that's doubly cool. And then 
third of all, she's found a way to make a living doing it. So I think that's super empowering and, and just a beautiful story. All that is so cool. cool. <laughs> I'm telling you, he is, he's like you, man. He runs all the time. So what do you often hear from women who say they're inspired by you? It's really cool to be able to do what I do and to hear people's stories. Uh, a lot of women come up to me and say, I wish I could do what you do. Um, how do I start? Um, and, you know, there's no magic in it. You start where you start. Okay, it's going to be a journey, whatever it is, uh, whatever shape you're in, how fit you everyone are. Starts you know, at a different everyone place. starts in a different place. You can't compare yourself to your former self. Mm. You can't compare yourself to anybody else. Yeah. You just, you're there. You have to be in the moment, and then you move from that moment forward. Yeah, and be thankful. Be thankful that you've been given a body that gives you the ability to do it. That's, that's the biggest thing. Backstage, we have a woman just like that. She says she wants to run a marathon just like Myrna, but has doubts because of her size. She says she's inspired by Myrna, but she has no idea that Myrna's here right now. We're going to have Myrna go backstage before we bring her out. So will you go backstage just for a minute? <laughs> go down, you want. There you go. My next guest says she wants to train for a marathon, but worries due to her size that she's not up for the challenge. Please welcome Monica, everybody. <laughs> Here's my first thought. You're small. What? Like what? <laughs> like what? But tell us about yourself. Okay. So I'm 28. Um, I'm living in Santa Monica, mm -hmm. and I've always been overweight growing up. And living in an Asian household, um, there's always this pressure to be thinner. And I've I've never been thin my entire life. Like, Me neither. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I mean, I've just accepted at this point that like this is my body mm -hmm. and um, that's it. Um, but as I become an adult, I started running for exercise and the most I've ran is like a 5K. So that's like three miles mm -hmm. and doing three miles is okay, but I feel like I could do a marathon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So what holds you back from just doing it? I think it's just my body. I'm 5'2". My legs are so short. I'm 5'3", and I have no legs. <laughs> yep. so, I'm all torso, ma'am. <laughs> so um, for me to like do three miles versus like 26 miles, I think it's just like I feel like I can't do it. What would it mean for you, though, to complete one of those marathons, like the bigger ones? <sighs> I think it would mean so much. I think it would truly challenge um, like my mental and my physical. Um, I feel like a part of me can do the marathon, mm -hmm. um, especially since I watched this documentary of this woman named Myrna, and she runs ultra marathons. So mm -hmm. I just feel like if she can do it, I, I think I could do it too. I love that. So you have yeah. somebody that kind of inspires you in that. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, I have a surprise for you, Monica. Um, there is someone backstage who does want to meet you. Uh, Myrna, will you come on out? <laughs> I was like, oh, yay, she brought her up, too. We knew that you, you were inspired by her, and I, who isn't? I just met her, and I'm in love with her. I don't even like running anymore, and I'd probably run one just to hang with you. But what do you want to say to Monica, Myrna? I heard everything you said back there, and you said you run 5Ks, 10Ks. I've never done a 10K. Okay, well, if you can run a 5K, you can run a 10K. And if you can Double. run a 10K, half marathon, mm -hmm. and then marathon. Mm -hmm. So you start where you start, right? right? You have the legs. Mm -hmm. uh, you are gorgeous. You are strong. You. Uh, and you are capable you of are doing totally a capable. full marathon yeah. with the proper training. Uh, and I'd yeah. love to see you run the LA Marathon on March 8th. With me and That's Kyle. That gives you time. That okay. gives you time. Kyle will do it. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right. And I can talk a lot. Seriously, not going to stop. Yep, still here. Not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.